All right, how's it going, everybody? Ah, you're gonna love this video because I do not think it's gonna take very long. All right, so the goal for you guys is for you to be able to identify proportional ratios using tables, coordinate plane graphs, and cross multiplication. All right, so something you want to remember. If you plot coordinates from a table onto a graph, all right, and that line intersects the origin, all right, that's the zero, zero point, where x is zero and y is zero, then the values in the table are proportional. What's up, Lida? If the line does not intersect the origin, the values are not proportional, all right? So if it intersects zero, zero, they're proportional. If it doesn't, they're not proportional. All right, so next slide. All right, so for example, instead of X and Y, we're using A and B, all right? So let's say values for A. A is 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. And for every A value, there's a B value, all right? B is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. All right, well, let's say I want you to graph those values, all right? And we'll call this the A axis, and this we'll call the B axis, all right? I'm going to graph these points. So A3, B2. So A is 3, B is 2, there's my point. A is 5, B is 4. So A is 5, B is 4, there's my next coordinate, my next point. And I keep going. 7, 6, 9, 8, 11, 10. And they should form a straight line. So I connected all of these points. And the line ended up stopping right there. Right on where A is 1. But this right here, class, that's the origin. Alright, that right there is the origin. 0, 0. Where... This axis value is zero, and this axis value is zero. All right, it does not intersect the origin. Therefore, these values are not proportional. All right, another way to check to see if those values are proportional, which, remember guys, proportional, it just means really equal to each other, or do they go up by the same rate, or do they go up by the same factor? Or do they decrease by the same factor? Do they decrease by the same divisor? Do they increase by the same divisor? And so on. All right, so I took 3 over 2. A is 3, B is 2. And I took 5 over 4. All right, because these right here, class, are ratios. When A is 3, B is 2. When A is 5, B is 4. When A is 7, B is 6. All right, so... I just took two ratios, I set them equal to each other, and I cross multiplied to see if they're proportional or not. All right, so just to double check my work, because I already told you that if when you plot those points on a graph and the line doesn't intersect zero, zero, they're not proportional. But it's always a good idea anyway to just back up your answer by showing as much work as possible. So in this case, I'm doing the math. So I took three over two, and 5 over 4, I set them equal to each other and I cross multiplied. Well, 3 times 4 is 12 and 2 times 5 is 10. Those are not equal to each other. Alright, so since they're not equal to each other, these ratios must not be proportional. Alright, and let me get my big head out of the way so that you can see the rest of this. In case you didn't get to write it down yet. Alright, so I'll move on to the next slide. So if you need to, pause the video. But, I'm moving on. Last slide. Alright, now, yeah, I got X and Y. Alright, so, for this table, when X is 1, Y is 3. When X is 2, B is 6. Or, sorry, Y is 6. When X is 3, Y is 9. When X is 4, Y is 12. And then 5 and 15. Alright, so, what I want you to do is plot those on a graph. So, I did. I've got my x-axis and I've got my y-axis. Alright, so I plot x is 1, y is 3. So x is 1, up 3, there's my point. 2 and 6. x is 2, y is 6, and then 3 and 9, 
412 and 515. When I connect all the dots, the line, look where it goes, guys. It intersects. It crosses that 0, 0 mark where y is 0 and x is 0. When values in a table do that, they are proportional. Alright, so again, to back up my answer with some math, which you always want to do anyway, I take two sets of ratios, alright? When x is 1, y is 3. Alright, this might as well mean class, like if we were talking about animals, for every one cat we've got in our pet shop, there's three dogs. But in this case, we're not talking about animals, we're talking about just x and y values, okay? Same thing, just we're talking about something different. Alright, we got 1 over 3, and I've got 2 over 6. You guys probably can just tell by looking at this that, yeah, 1 third, which is equal to 2 sixths, when we cross multiply, 1 over, or sorry, 1 times 6 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, is 6 equal to 6? Yeah, it is. So when you cross multiply and you get the same values, that must mean that those values, or sorry, those ratios are proportional. Alright? So that's actually the last slide. So, tomorrow we're going to work on graphing some of these tables, um, trying to determine if these values are proportional to each other. Alright? Remember, proportional class again. If the ratio increases or decreases by the same factor or the same divisor, then those two ratios are proportional. All right. Another way you could have solved this is you could have done, well, how can we go from 1 to 2? You can do times 2. Well, if you do times 2 on bottom, 3 times 2 is 6. Yeah, that works out. Or you could simplify 2 over 6 the most that you possibly can, which would turn into 1 over 3, which is that already so yeah these have to be equal to each other or they have to be proportional all right but i'm gonna get get my big head out of the way again so that you can finish graphing this stuff and uh then i'll see you all tomorrow all right later